Hello English learners and welcome back to another video. This may not be the safest thing that I have done, but today I am doing an English lesson on a bike. It's not a super busy road, so it should be okay, but I'm on the, in the countryside and I thought I would bring the English to the road. A little bit out of breath, I've come a very long way uphill. <laughs> so yes, my name is Michael and this is Level Up English. Welcome back to another video. I'm gonna be talking today a little bit about what I'm doing, but also using some really useful grammar at the same time. So one thing I love is making grammar fun and exciting and not just kind of like the grammar you would see in a textbook, for example. So today I want to talk about a confusing one, which is present perfect tense versus past simple. For example, I have gone or I went. This is quite confusing and I want to kind of clear up some confusion on a bike ride today. So here's a very quick and brief overview. Past simple is used for actions that happened in the past and have no effect on the present whatsoever. It's a completed action and it is finished, it's gone, right? So there's no more effect on the present. Present perfect can also be used to talk about the past. However, the difference here is it's an action that happened in the past, but there's still some kind of effect on the present. So I'll give you some examples today. So I have just left the gate over here because the horse was chasing me. <laughs> I think he thinks I have food, but he realized that I don't. So now he's leaving again, waiting for some more food. So I am knackered, so I'm walking up the hill for now but here's an example so i have taken my mum's bike it's not my bike actually it's my mum's bike but i have taken the bike this means i took it in the past and i am still out with it now if i use the past simple and just say i took the bike it's also true it's also correct but we don't know if i still have the bike I have taken the bike means I still have the bike. I took the bike means we don't know. Maybe I returned it already, or maybe I still have it. So they're very, very similar, but present perfect has a little bit more information. We, we can understand the story a little bit better. I need to catch my breath a second. So one way in which we use the present perfect is when we talk about a past action that has an effect on the present. So basically something that started in the past, but it's still true today. So for example, as you can see, I have stolen my mum's bike. <laughs> but the reason I have stolen the bike is because last time I moved house, I sold my old bike to make it easier in the moving process. And I haven't bought a new one yet. Here I use the present perfect. I haven't bought it yet. This is a negative sentence because that means I can still buy it in the future. There's still a chance to buy it. If I say I didn't buy one, then that means there's no more chance to buy a bike in the future. So I have no idea how this is gonna sound over the wind and the bike and all the noise and everything, but hopefully you can hear me. So for example, when I left the house about 30 minutes ago, I locked the door. I say past simple, I'm not using present perfect here. I locked the door. And this is because I don't know if it's still locked. You know, maybe my mum got home and unlocked the door. I have no idea. But all I can say for sure is that I did lock the door. I have fed Louis the cat, however. So I have fed Louis, and that's because he is still full. You know, he doesn't need feeding anymore. If maybe it was yesterday and, you know, the food he ate is no longer enough for him, I could use past simple, but because I've just fed him recently, I can say I have fed Louis, so don't worry, you don't need to feed him. So at this point, I have lived in London for about two years now. It's coming up on two years. And I think because of that, I really do appreciate these countryside visits a lot more. And I think 
if you look at the view now, you'll really see why I always recommend people come to visit Cornwall because it is so beautiful. So I think this will look even better in real life, but hopefully you get a good idea of what the landscape is like here. You know, when you go a little bit outside of London, this is what, what you can be rewarded with. We can also use the present perfect tense when simply the action is much more important than the time. So it doesn't really matter when you did something, it's more about what you did. So for example, I could boast to you and show off and say, I have been to almost every place in Cornwall. Well, I have been to the highest parts of Cornwall. And I think where I am now, this is one of the highest in East Cornwall, actually. So I have been to many high places all over the Cornish countryside. Have you? Have you done that? No, I don't think so. So if you want to kind of show off and boast to your friends, then you can use the present perfect tense and talk about things that you've done that you're proud of in the past. Another simple way in which we can use present perfect is talking about things that have just happened, recently happened. And you, know, you don't have to do this, but we very often express these using the word just. So I have just fallen off my bike. Hopefully that won't become true in a second while I'm kind of riding one-handed. But maybe a more true example is I've just remembered, I've got something to do, I've got somewhere to be. I've made a plan for tonight to meet my friends for a barbecue, uh, if the weather is good anyway. And so I've got to get back and you know prepare for that, get ready for that, so I can't be out too much longer. So I'm heading back home now to get ready for that. So I have just remembered I've got to do that. We don't have to say present perfect. I mean, many Americans especially will just use past tense, like I just remembered. And it's perfectly fine, but again, present perfect gives a little bit more meaning behind what you're saying. It gives a little bit more clarity to what you're saying. So, for example, if you say, I've lost my wallet, that means it's probably recently happened, it's still lost now. You could say, I lost my wallet, it's just not as clear if it's a problem now or something that happened in the past. You can see a massive rain cloud behind me, can't you? I think. It's probably another reason why I've got to get back as soon as possible before this rain cloud hits me. I think the last way I want to share with you how we can use present perfect today is the continuous tense. And really this could be a whole nother lesson in itself, but I'm just going to add a few sentences in here for you now because I think it's quite appropriate to what I'm doing. The wind is starting to pick up a little bit now. I think that storm cloud is bringing in the wind and hopefully I'm not gonna be caught out in the rain. But yeah, so I have been cycling for about one hour now. So here I'm using continuous tense, right? I have been cycling for one hour. That means it started in the past, it's continuing now, but I'm using continuous to emphasize that it's an ongoing activity. So it's an ongoing activity, it's a long one, and I'm emphasizing that time. I have been cycling for one hour. I have been talking for five minutes. And even though I've been staying in Cornwall for seven days now, you know, I have been staying here for seven days. This is my second time to come out to the countryside here. So I'm really enjoying it, but I think I'm gonna to try to get home as quickly as I can now, avoid this rain. And I'm gonna do a review as some of these phrases today with my good friend Louis the cat when we get home. So I'll see you there. <laughs> so I just zoomed home really, really fast. It was all downhill and I came home in no time. So I'm back with Louis the cat now who is asking for food and I can do a quick review of some of the grammar that we covered <laughs> on the walk today. So Louis has lived here for a few years now. So he has lived here for a few years, which means he lived here in the past and he still lives here now. And he's very happy. See, <laughs> he has already begged for food, I think four times today. So he has begged for food four times or so, but we can use present perfect because the day is not over yet. So he may beg for more food later. So he has begged for food four times, but he may beg another time this evening. And he has tried 
about 10 different brands of cat food. He's a very fussy boy. So here we're talking about how many he's tried in the past. Well, if we talk about something that happens again and again in the past, we can just use present perfect. He has tried 10 cat foods over his life. And he doesn't like any of them, apart from this one. This is his favorite snack. He has done a lot of brave things. For example, he has chased cats away from the garden, you know, other cats who may be intruding on his territory. He's chased them away. So here we're talking about what he's done. He's proud of it. The action is important, but the time is not important. So he has chased away many, you know, enemy cats, for example. And finally, he has just woken up. This is something that's recently happened. He has just woken up, and I think that is why he is so hungry. So from me and from Louis, goodbye for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know in the comments, but I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.